Okay guys, so I've got a banger for you in this video. We are taking a look at the fight between Subriel Matias from Puerto Rico and Malik Hawkins from the USA. The contest was scheduled as a super lightweight, non-title fight for 10 rounds. The location of the fight was set in Uncasville, Connecticut, USA. Okay guys, thoughts and opinions at the end, let's get straight into the action. Once again, a referee in charge, now to give instructions, Johnny Callis. Subriel, coach. Coach. Subriel, Malik, you received your instructions in the dressing room. I want you to protect yourself at all times. Above all, obey my commands at all times. First, time, first command is right now, touch gloves on the bell rings box. Good luck. Johnny Callis is in his 26th year as a professional boxing referee. This is his 288th professional bout, scheduled for 10 rounds at 140 pounds. Ready? Malik, ready? Let's go. The bell and round one. Hawkins in the blue and white trunks. Matias in the orange with black and white trunks. And immediately it's Hawkins looking to establish the stick. He told us that the jab was the most important thing in this fight for him to keep uh, Matias, who is an attacker, at bay. And you'll, we'll see the movement from Hawkins during this fight as well. While well, Hawkins throws at slightly below the 140 pound average, Matias, well, he's averaged a whopping 97 punches thrown per round over three opponents, Al. So this guy gets his engine started pretty quickly. He does. You know, I do a lot of music shows and I sing the song, Something's Gotta Give. Well, Matias <laughs> lands 27 punches. Hawkins' opponents only land 10. So as Johnny Mercer wrote, somehow, somewhere, something's gotta give. Music to Malik. the ears of boxing right. fans everywhere. I like this fight for Hawkins. Uh, Matias, like you guys mentioned, he's, he's a workaholic in, inside the ring. He, he's going to have you working round by round, always jabbing upstairs, downstairs, and, you know, big test for Hawkins. Of course, Hawkins head trainer Calvin Ford has been in Las Vegas preparing Gervonta Davis. So Kenny Ellis is in Hawkins' corner tonight. And Hawkins, man, he's had some terrific sparring with the likes of Boots Ennis, Terrence Crawford, Maurice Hooker. So hoping to showcase all of the skills that he has sharpened since the last time we saw him in the ring. Can't get any better than that. The sparring. It's really good sparring. Matias punching on the inside. There's a short left hook upstairs by Hawkins. And see, that's what I mean about Matias. He's always working. He's always in your face, inside, jabbing, and making his way in with that jab, which is really, really good. Under a minute remaining here in the opening frame at close quarters, Hawkins goes to the body. Now, this is where Matias would like to see Hawkins more often when he was sitting there in the pocket. We've seen a lot of movement from Hawkins, more than I think would, he would normally use. Oh, right uppercut on the inside, just missed for Matias. Under 30 seconds left in the opening frame. There's a long-range jab from Hawkins before he leans in on Matias. Hawkins needs to be a little bit careful when he pulls back straight forward with his hands down because Matias, he keeps coming. Not with just one punch, but many. So a getting-to-know-you round between Malik Hawkins and Subriel Matias. As we kick things off here at the Fight Time. Sphere. This is round two, Malik Hawkins, the more active of the two fighters in that opening round, especially with his jab as he tries a combination upstairs. And now Matias, so again, putting the pressure on him and Hawkins immediately clinching. And let go of each other. The referee imploring them to let go of each other. And now they're letting go the punches. You can see the fact that when Matias can be on the inside exchanging, he likes it a lot better. Uh, when Hawkins is moving, it's an issue for him. 
And as we mentioned, uh, when they're in the inside, that means kick, kick the key to victory for, for Hawkins. Stop punching. The uppercut. Stop punching. Inside. You're in the inside. Work that body like and, break, and break. pick it up with that uppercut. Perfect. There, right on time. There's the uppercut by Hawkins. <laughs> Left hook to the body by Hawkins. But now backing up as Matias stalks him, looks to try to cut off the ring, although Hawkins utilizing his lateral movement. There's a double left hook, lands upstairs, a right hand over the top by Hawkins. Yeah, this fight, I think, is really going to be an interesting one. We're seeing evidence of that here in round number two. Because as it goes on, I think Hawkins will start to stay in the pocket more. I just don't feel he's going to move as much in this whole fight. There's a left hand that landed for Matias. Hawkins ducked underneath the sweeping left hook by Matias. Matias is having a much better second round than he did the first because he's been able to get him punching range and there's the body work. Keep Both up, men are great oh. body punchers. A nice left hook to the side of Hawkins' head by Matias. He's hoping that when Hawkins goes to his corner, his corner tells him that Matias has got his hands down all the time. When he walks in, he's got the hands down. So he, right there, you do the one, two, catch him and move. Under a minute left here in round two, and it's Matias unloading on Hawkins. Hawkins trying to bob right. and weave. And don't punch. Don't punch. Uh, 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 oh, don't punch. <laughs> referee Callis warning Matias about punching when he's not supposed to. Well, he was de they had a point deducted from him in a fight where he actually hit an opponent when he was down. So but sometimes he's overzealous. Yeah, that was against Fernando Salcedo. And that was back in October of 2018. Malik, let go. And it's become a bit of a Greco-Roman wrestling match here. And referee Callis imploring them to stop punching as they clinch. There's a left hook upstairs that lands for Hawkins. But a much better round for Subriel Matias as he's been the aggressor. Although Hawkins coming back with a combination at the end of the round. Time. This is round number three. Both Hawkins and Matias trying to bully each other on the inside. Both were victimized by bullies when they were young kids, and that's what brought them to the sport of boxing. Matias started at the age of 12. Hawkins focused seriously on the sport when he was 13. Hawkins had about 175 amateur bouts, Matias 100, and here they are meeting in a pivotal contest at 140. That's ironic, as you point out, they both, oh, great action on the inside. They both had difficult times as children, even though in, in very different places. And of course, uh, Hawkins' brother, uh, getting killed uh, on the streets and then another brother incarcerated so uh, he had lots of issues as did Matias and they are very close in terms of the power punches landed yeah that's that's and of course the power punch is everything other than the jab well, Hawkins lounging along the ropes able to escape to his left and Matias just marching him down hands are low oh wow he's just coming you know one of the, one of the big things in this fight is the jab of Matias well hands were low but then he lets them go and starts yeah mark up Malik Hawkins here in round number three this is a step up fight for Hawkins there's no question about that and remember he did not look good in his last fight with Darwin Price so yeah, that's right our own Steve Farland had uh, Hawkins trailing on every in every round before he won after Price injured his knee in the fifth and Matias taking the fight to Hawkins here in the third Hawkins forced to clinch Definitely a step up fight for Hawkins and earlier you guys were talking about him being bullied in school and and today he, He's yeah. got a bully in front of him and Matias um, Definitely uh, he's in for a fight But uh, one thing I got to mention is that the reason why Matias it just comes in with so easily with his hands down is because Hawkins doesn't put that one two in his face and checks him you know and, and, and has him think you know, twice before he goes in. It's like Hawkins is baiting him. I mean, he's coming like forward, hands down, just, you know, challenging Hawkins to give him what he's got, but it's Matias that continues to be the aggressor in this round out. Yeah, and remember, as Abner pointed out, uh, the jab is important, and Hawkins told us, I'm gonna use it, but he hasn't in the last couple of rounds. Left uppercut by Matias. Hawkins 
Again on the ropes and then forced to clinch. Hawkins unable to get his offense on track here in the third round. <laughs> Tries to work the one-two counter left from Matias. Right. We have reached the end of three oh, rounds uh, 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 uh. scheduled for 10 at 140. Come on. Time. Round number four, referee Callis warning. Hawkins about his holding, and uh, there's no holding. Matias back, storming out, and again unloading here on Hawkins. Hawkins with a high guard, manages a short left hook upstairs, so they continue to fight at a phone booth distance. I like what Hawkins did just there. He, he, he got inside, but he closed himself really well that Matias couldn't land anything, and then boom, he got him with that hook. He, he, he might have found something now, Hawkins. But he can't, he can't pull back. He can't pull back with his hands down like he is in, at this moment. And Matias threatening with the power Lee. punches and Al, he, boy, did he ever in that last round. And Great. so many of those punch, were back. created by those double left hooks. So some were body shots, some were head shots. Don't and now punch, in this punch, round, punch. you know, Ebner made the point. Hawkins did uh, get close enough where he couldn't be hit. But if he stays on the inside, he's going to be in puncher range for Matias. And he has the height and reach advantage. And, yeah. You know, he said that he studied people Breaks. like Thomas no Hearns, punch. who was, of course, a fighter Breaks. whose height advantage Holding. helped a flourish Down. in the ring. But, but Hawkins is getting too close, I think. Yeah, he, he's allowing Matias to be in good punching range. And Matias is making the most of the range, and it's been a real rough and tumble affair. They're using their shoulders. A lot of real wrestling on the inside, but now they're starting to exchange from mid-range. See, that's the fight Hawkins doesn't want to be in. Matias just feeling really comfortable in there. You gotta, the corner told him, use that stick, use that jab, distance. Once he comes in, catch him with that right hand. The, if you're in the inside, uppercut, then move to the side, not backwards. You know, Hawkins is doing some good work here, yeah. but the question is, will this overall style benefit him? And can he hurt Matias? Matias was knocked down against the ropes by Inanyan, but, uh, you know, for the most part, he's had a sturdy chin in his career. And of course, we mentioned it, Matias, all 15 of his wins have come via form of knockout. 11 of Hawkins' 18 victories have come inside the distance. 45 seconds left in the fourth. Matias missing with the right uppercut on the inside, but again, just <laughs> disrespecting Hawkins yes. by marching forward with his hands down. It's exactly that when he backs up with his hands down that Hawkins gets caught. But uh, Al, I think I think Hawkins found some. I don't know if you noticed, he, he pushes Matias with that shoulder, and when he does, he lets those uppercuts go. Yes, yeah, he had, and he's done some very good work on the inside in this round. There's that side step. Yeah, whether he's winning the round is another question. It's a close round. Yeah, Hawkins told us that he felt that, well, would be Matias trying to impose his will early, and he's been doing that with great effect here as we end the round. It's round four at the Fight Sphere. Hawkins launches a right. No, no, no. Watch out. You all right? Time. Subriel. Sub, good. Make them work, make them work, ice man. Make them work. Dr. Stephanie Alessi checking out Malik Hawkins. Time in. And the fight resumes. This is round five, scheduled for 10 at 140 on, pounds. Other. And guys, we talked about the power that Matias has, you know, 15 to 15. And, and sometimes just because he doesn't knock down a fighter, it doesn't seem like he's hurt. I mean, he's a hard hitting puncher, you know? Matias just tagged him upstairs, and referee Callis has, has warned Hawkins before for holding. Continues to do so as that distance, Matias beginning to find the target. And you know, the Matias jab has been better than. 
he normally throws, and it, it, that's been helpful to him in this in this match. You know, his promoter uh, Juan Arango said he Don't took this fight go. for Matias because he's right. confident Step he can back. knock Don't out punch. Hawkins. He Don't actually punch. predicted the general rounds. He said, I think he's going to knock him out around seven or eight. We'll see. Yeah, but Hawkins has to be careful, guys. He continues to lead him with his shoulder and his head. He's been warned by the referee, and we'll have to keep, keep an eye up, on that. I'll keep him up. Oh, there's a nice combination by Matias, and then Hawkins comes back with a right hand, but misses with a sweeping left hook. Matias did something interesting. He slipped a couple punches. He doesn't always do that. Yes. <laughs> Not that often. Let's go to Steve Farhood. Yes, Mo. I just checked with Dr. Alessi, who examined Hawkins between rounds. We saw that on the video. I asked her what it was about. She said nothing about orbital bone or nose or anything like that. Just he was taking too many shots. She just wanted to make sure that he could respond the way she wanted him to respond because he wasn't ne not necessarily doing that in the ring. Go punch. You know, it's interesting. Um, Matias hasn't yet figured out a way to cut the ring off, but that hasn't really impeded him because he still ends up getting him against the ropes, uh, even no if punch. he doesn't cut the ring off. Under a minute left here in the fifth. Hawkins leaning in on Matias on the ropes. And, Step back. and referee punch, unable punch. to get them extricated until he inserts himself between them. And I'm noticing a little bit of fatigue right now from Hawkins. Uh, I mean, the guy, Matias just pressuring, right. putting a, a different type Please of, step back. you know, a fight that I guess Hawkins has never seen. Well, and let's not forget what we mentioned at the top uh, about him facing a life-threatening kidney disorder yes. earlier this year. He just got hurt, uh, Hawkins did, with that combination right. from Matias. So the power of Matias is starting to Malik. take some effect here. And that's work from the body work, too. Uh, yeah. yeah. Good there. point. There's another left to the body by Let Matias. Let go. Well, at times throughout this fight, they've been closer to conjoined twins as we get to the second half of this 10-round affair. Time. Show been a while. Yeah. Seconds out. Hold up. Hold it's up. Stool round out. Stool number out. six. All right, let's go. And when you look at well, the the, the stats, Alan, I know you keep a, a, a close eye league. on that. You you have Hawkins with the jab, but the power punch, punches belong punch, to back. Matias, and that's been the difference in the fight. It really has. He has done a much better job uh, with power punches, landing 109 to 66. Well, here is here it is by round by round as we He's see uh, Matias. Uh, after that first round, things changed dramatically and. He has completely, hey, how about round back. six? Holy like cow, that was a shutout. And, and even that jab, you mentioned oh, uh, using that jab as a power punch. Yeah, yeah, right, that's a good point, Edward. It's Mama not, Lee, it isn't really just a setup jab. Just ask uh, Jamel Charlo. <laughs> Jabs can yeah. be a punches. We were here yes. in this very Step spot back. to see that. Malik, stop holding. Jab from Matias scores, then targets the body, and and Hawkins just doesn't look like he's able to put anything together. Looks home. like he's more content and just right, right. Oh, and oh, going downstairs. Hold up, hold to up. the so basement. Listen. Warning, formal, no holding, no holding, and keep him up. Keep him up, both Good of you. things. There's never any good things that happen in the basement. And how many warnings are we going to get tonight, guys? <laughs> I know a lot of warnings, especially for the holding. Go over Malik. You know, th this is just the way Matias and his people drew up this fight. They really thought the pressure. Oh, and Hawkins goes down to one knee. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Malik walks to me. Take a couple steps to the right. All right, good. And this is 19th professional bout. Hawkins goes down for the first time here in round six. Less than a minute remaining and maybe more of an urgency from Hawkins on the back foot coming forward. But, Don't but Hasner, the, the, the form is, is not there. Am I missing something? No, no. I think, you know, Hawkins has to be careful because we're only going to see the same aggression, if not more, that he knocked him down, Matias, on Matias' side. And, and Hawkins, I mean, he just has to change it, change it up, second gear, find a different method, you know, one, two, hold, you know, this is where, where the, um, 
the experience comes in hand, and, and obviously, you know, if you really have it in your heart. The other thing is, we just, the volume of punches yes. has gone down for Hawkins dramatically. And uh, part of that, of course, is a punishment he's taken, but uh, he just needs to be more offensive. And as you said, get the jab and try to some, do something behind it. They exchange body shots. Time. Okay, it's over. It's all over. Sorry, Malik. In charge, Johnny Callis stops the contest upon advice of a ringside physician. He is the winner by way of technical knockout, the hard-hitting Supriya Matias. So guys, the fight ends with a TKO victory by way of the doctor's advice at the end of the sixth round for Subriel Matias. The constant pressure he applied was quite overwhelming and this is the type of test you can face in boxing. It literally questions the quality of your character and the size of your heart. Matthias was relentless in his forward aggression and in some cases unorthodox because he appeared to lose his form or stance to use either hand to throw hard counters whenever Hawkins tried to open up. Whenever Matthias did maintain his stance, his jab was just like a strong battering ram that pushed his opponent's head back and visibly weakened him. It doesn't look like Hawkins sparring partners would have been able to replicate this style or level of pressure. So I think we can all agree that Subriel Matias can be hit. When he comes forward, he does present some level of defense, but it's certainly not impenetrable. Hawkins was landing well early on with the jab and a few combinations, but as Matias imposed himself with pressure, Hawkins' jab became more predictable and forced. This was the first issue for Hawkins. Matias was then able to get around his jab by slipping, getting in on the inside to work short range combinations or simply just by slipping and countering the jab. Then you could visibly see Hawkins lost control of distance and did not use sound defense whilst moving backwards and laterally around the ring. He was regularly caught by Matias's jab while his hands were down and this allowed Matias to move forward with confidence, momentum and hard devastating combinations. Matias today currently has a record of 20 wins and one loss which he avenged and all his victories come by TKO, KO or the opponent retiring. Actually his last five fights with this fight with Hawkins being the first of those five, have come by the opponent retiring from the fight due to the punishment that they endured. So we need to understand that this guy Matias is no joke, extremely strong and resilient, and is definitely one of the super lightweight champions that cannot be taken lightly. No pun intended, of course. And the super lightweight division is stacking up with young hungry fighters such as Haney, Lopez, Garcia, and that crazy ass Rolando Romero. There are many more strong fighters and a lot of them are undefeated in this division. So we definitely need to keep our eyes and attention on these guys and hope that the big fights get made. Anyway guys, that's all for now. I really hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Please remember to smash the like button if you have enjoyed watching this particular update. Remember to leave a comment in the comment section if you want to add anything about Subriel Matias. So until my next one, peace out.